What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Viber Live on the R2R Network. And today I want to talk about Pulse Chain, Richard Hart, and just some mistakes that I made in crypto. And now that I am a crypto consultant, I work with a lot of people. We have our own group. You know, I see a lot of the same mistakes being made. So I just want to talk about the opportunities now and just some ways to hopefully make crypto simpler for you. And I think when you start second guessing yourself, everyone does that, right? You start asking, man, are these the right bags? I'm looking at Pendle. I have no idea what that is. And my coin is going down or MNT. Man, why don't I own that? And that's what new people do. They come in, they see what's pumping and they want to FOMO into it. And that's the worst thing you can do. You have to trade against your emotion. And when you have that feeling of, oh, I missed out, I want to buy, or even, oh, my coin is not performing well, I should probably just dump it. That's the time you need to buy. And you need to start selling when you get that, oh my God, I want to buy more feeling. It's always the opposite. And right now, you know, we are have that opportunity in the Richard Hart ecosystem where everything is so suppressed right now. We're at rock bottom. And this is the opportunity for you to come in and buy when everyone else is exiting and looking elsewhere. I think this space is going to look completely different a year from now. And there's a handful of coins. Richard Hart, his entire ecosystem, and then people are going to hate me for saying it, but XRP, Sologenics, those projects are so undervalued. And I'm trying to think down the road, ahead of the curve, not what's popular now, what's going to be popular a year from now. You know, we already know AI, D-PIN, and gaming are the three narratives this cycle. And that's great. So our bags are all packed now, hopefully. And it's a waiting game. And if you're still packing your bags, I suggest looking around and seeing what's down the most. Instead of looking at the week and saying, oh, core is up. Let me look at that. Do the opposite. Look at what's down the most so that has the most potential upside when it starts to move. Because everything in crypto will move. They just move at different at different times. And it's been kind of weird. We've gone from Bitcoin right to the altcoins. We didn't really have the ETH season, the DeFi season, like we did in 2020. So the markets are always kind of changing. And with the prices of HEX and and the controversy that's going on, is eHex dead? Guys, I think this is screaming opportunity. You know, it took me a long time to realize when people that I talk to every day that are, have been bullish on Hex and love Richard Hart are all of a sudden second guessing stuff. I know that's time to buy. The shakeout is pretty much there. When I'm seeing people now who I never thought would panic or even worry are cal- calling me and just needing to hear that, our, okay, you know, I don't know. I, I watched this video, I got fudded out, but thank you for clarifying that. What's being built with a Tropa right now? Once Richard is able to stream, once this lawsuit is over, once he's the king of crypto and on Ivan's stream every morning or on crypto banter or wherever it is, it's going to be a different space altogether. We've just gotten so accustomed to Richard not being here this bull run. If he comes back, everything's going to change. So these coins are just screaming opportunities, both hexes, even e-hex. I bought in way more e-hex than hex on pulse chain. I think just with the arbitrage, they're going to stay so close in price. I I just don't see them getting so out of whack where it's a 10 to 1 ratio. I I don't think we'll see that. You know, from what I'm discovering with what these guys have been building with Atropa, shout out to Nine Iron Capital for all the research he did. He does Hotonomics, Chaos Chris. These guys have been talking about this stuff since last summer. You know, people were fudding it around the community saying, oh, P dies a joke. Oh, it's a pump and dump. And we were screaming, no, there were transactions made with MakerDAO before Pulse Chain launched. So somebody 
who had access to Pulse Chain was interacting with Maker before Pulse Chain launched. So there's something there, guys. Maker is the world's first unbiased currency. DAI is a stable, decentralized currency that does not discriminate. And what's really interesting is when you click here, use DAI, it brings you to where? Spark. Isn't that interesting? You have Pulse, you have Spark, and these names, I don't think there's a coincidence. You know, Richard is working with the um, CEO, Rune, I think is his name, and the CEO of Ave. Richard has a relationship with all of them, and his network is so much bigger than we think, guys. So this is a screaming opportunity when these prices are suppressed right now. Don't get fudded out. Do not sell the bottoms. I've made this mistake. All right, look at Civic right now. It's at 20 cents. I bought this at the end of 2019, August, September 2019. So it was around three cents, and then it dipped down to, un to almost a penny right here in um, November. So I bought more of it down here at the bottom. So my average entry price was a cent and a half. And when it ran up last cycle, I sold it at 20 cents and I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was the man. Look at me. I made a 20 X and if I had just held it, it would have ran up and I would have done a 90 X. And even now I sold it out at 20 cents. If I had just held right now, I would, I was in that bag of 22,000 coins total for $450 ish. So if I had held that bag for five years, Where's it going to go this cycle to $3? So there's $60,000 off of 400 bucks, 66,000 polygon. We all know Matic. We got into this in January of 2020, way back in the day at a cent. It was just around a cent. It was, a, and then it dipped. I think it was a below because I remember it was the same price. I got into hex at double oh oh seven. And Matic, this one I had learned from Civic, and I held Matic a little longer, and I sold it at a dollar. Facing reality, same thing. We both got out. We made 100x. We were the best. And what did we do? We missed out on the next 200. And I bought 18,000 Matic for a half ETH, which was 250 bucks at the time. ETH was 500 bucks or so back here. Might have been even 450. But whatever. I had 18,000 Matic. And what did I do? I sold them. At 100x, and then I'll never recover that bag. I could have had 18,000 now, and what's it going to run up to this cycle? 10 bucks. So there's $180,000 off of a half of ETH, which was 250 bucks. I don't even know how many X's that is. Ave is 116 bucks. I bought three or 400 of them back before it was even charted when it was ETH Lend. I bought it in 2019. I don't even know if it's still on here. <coughs> ETH Lend. Nope, it's it's not even on here. And that's how that's when I bought Ave, and I bought like 300 of them or something like that. And what did I do? I got that wallet hacked. I had Quant and Ave that I bought super early too, and I got that wallet hacked with my Hex OA or my Hex Adoption Amplifier sacrifices. So I lost that wallet and I sold Civic and Polygon. So if I had the ability, I identified winners, you know, Civic's working with IDs. This is going to be a winning project. So if you can identify winning projects that have a use case and that are building and are going to be around in the future, they built this entire bear market. Chances are it's going to be around for a couple cycles. So you just hold. And that's the thing. Crypto banter is the biggest Degen shill out there, and it's so funny. For the last two weeks on stream, I've been, you know, screaming this message: just buy the these dips early, buy these coins when they're depressed and no one wants them, and just wait. Civic, this is when you wanted to buy when it was dead. Imagine this coming off 2017, and then it's down in the dumps. No one wanted to buy it then, and look what you missed out on. Same thing, down in the dumps, and you're gonna miss out on the same or get the same gains this cycle. And I missed out on that. And I wish I held my bags of Civic, of Polygon, of everything. Those four or 500 bucks 
I'll never be able to get that again. And there's coins right now like Sologenic. These guys are tokenizing 40,000 stocks and bringing them to the XRP ledger. They just announced XRP, a stable coin today. I haven't even looked into it. I've been so busy. I got to do research into that, which is, guys, XRP is going to be taken over. I did a video about it, I think, two episodes ago. And Sologenics right now, these are the coins you want to be looking at at this time. When everything else is pumping, look what Solo did. It ran up to $6 last cycle. Boom. From $0.15. Cents. 12 cents to six dollars just like that overnight what do you think is going to happen when tesla is tokenized and you can pair it up with xrp i think we're going to see something potentially similar so these are the opportunities when you want to buy when everybody's saying they're dead no one wants them i've realized now after what i did with polygon after civic buying them in the dead zone and then holding even if you miss out and you blow the cycle you don't sell the top and you hold till the next cycle there's going to come a time where these things are up so much. Our entry points are so low. You're not going to have to take profit. Once you're up 50X, 100X, Polygon, I'd be up 80X right now. I wouldn't need to sell my bag. I could stake it and take that 5% and live off of the $180,000, 5% a year. That's not bad. And then you combine that with other opportunities, with LP, with yield farms. And now you put your crypto to work instead of having to sell it, pay tax. And worry about the same problem again. And guys, XRP is the same thing. This coin is going to just rocket all of a sudden out of the blue. The, the days where you can get it for under a dollar are, are limited. And once it's one, two, three, five dollars, that's when everyone's going to want it, guys. When Bitcoin is no longer the golden child promoted by the media, Larry Fink was just quoted saying, I think there's another crypto out there that could replace Bitcoin. And he's talking about XRP and Ripple. I know it, guys. I've done the research. I am willing to, willing to bet my entire reputation on it. So to not hold some XRP, to me, is just as crazy as not holding or getting hex right now at these prices. It's the same thing. you got to get this centralized, uncentralized. I get it. We're here to make money. If you're watching these streams, you need the money. You don't have the ability. You don't have the ability to discriminate against you say, I don't want to buy Ripple. I don't want to buy that. I support this. Well, that doesn't matter. Your wallet doesn't think that way. Guys, so these are opportunities now when everybody's funding this. You know, Richard Hart is bringing P die to peg. If you don't know by now what's going on, follow Nine Iron Capital, follow Hotonomics, follow Coach. They've been digging this stuff up. Sonny the Detective. Chaos Chris from The Verse. That we've been saying it now for six months. Richard Hart's behind this. This is going to a dollar. And the Australian man, he laughed at us. You know, a lot of the the hex OG influencers all laughed and funded it. And now they're all gonna be on board. Guys, we're nine months ahead of the influencer crowd, and we don't get the big followings because it's not sexy to talk about stuff when it's not pumping or it's not, you know, a meme coin or this or that. But if you want to win in crypto, you got to make it simple. And these are the ways to do it. You just buy low and you hold. Don't get caught up in anything else. I wish I never sold any of the bags that I bought that were in the top 100. Yeah, the coins that went crazy and dipped 90%. Yeah, it's I'm going to take profit this time around. But stuff that has utility and stuff that's going to be around, the Stellars, the H-Bars, the Richard Hart ecosystem, you know, I'm going to really be looking to put these coins to work next bear market. I think there's going to be opportunities to do that and keep your coins on chain earning yield so you don't have to pull them off and put it in the bank. I think we're going to have debit cards to spend with. So I think putting coins into stable coins, that's going to be cashing out now. Yeah, I cashed out. I hold PDI. I cashed out. I'm, you know, I'm holding USDT or whatever it is. We're not going to need to go to the banks anymore. I really hope that's the case. I think that's going to be the case. And if so, guys, for you that are here now, don't fumble your bags for stupid things. Have conviction. Richard Hart is going to pump the hell out of the ecosystem. And once the world realizes the only decentralized stable coin is on Pulse Chain, whew, we're going to the firmament. That's all I got, guys. Smash that like button. Follow the R2R network. 
And, whoa, man, this hair, guys, it is ripping. I can't cut it until we do a 10X. So let's go, Richard. Move that sack money around. 